Well, hi there, sweet friends. Welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday, and it's a beautiful day today. Blue skies, sunny, but rather chilly. It's not even going to be 60 today. So I'm dressed a little comfy and cozy uh, to be out running errands. I do have to run to the grocery store to pick up something because I did make in my last video, I roasted some butternut squash and I had some extra. So I'm gonna make a yummy, yummy, hearty, delicious soup. And then we're also going to make a healthy but delicious treat today too. So I'm um, looking forward to that. I also have to stop to go visit my mummy today for a little bit. I'm going to go say hey to her. Um, but also it's like I've got this pit feeling, you know, in my stomach because, um, and by the time you guys see this, it's going to be after the fact. And I pray, oh gosh, I'm just, I'm so sick. Okay. So, you know, Hurricane Milton is going to be coming through tonight, tomorrow morning. I've got my sister, I've got my dad, my bonus mommy, all my cousins, all of you, my friends that live in Florida that I am literally, I can't stop thinking about it, you guys. I'm just, I have the worst anxiety and I just wanna just be home here tonight to be around if I need to be, if any family needs me or whatever. I don't know what I can do, but just for mental support, um, but just know that I know, again, you guys are seeing this after the fact, and I just pray that it's not what, as bad as they say. I, I'm just, um, anyway, I'm just praying. So that's what's going on in real life today. So um, Archie is by the front door basking in the sun because it's nice and cozy right there for him. He follows the, little, the, the rays of sun all throughout my house today. Um, I had to turn on the furnace for the first time. I cannot even believe it. Um, but hey, we've been fortunate enough to get this far without even having to because we've had the nicest, most beautiful September and October so far. Um, but okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to the store and uh, visit mommy and come home and we're going to be in the kitchen. Okay, so I had luck. I ran into Target I didn't even tell you what I was doing. Okay, so let me back up a little bit. Yesterday when I was watching CJ in Pittsburgh, I was early, so I ran into Target right when it opened. And uh, I would always like to just take a look around, get little something treats for CJ and I. But anyway, um, I saw this rug and there was a runner. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really, really like this. I wonder if this would go in my house. So anyway, let me back up a little bit as far as um, where I got the inspiration. And this was years ago, years ago, maybe a couple years ago. Christopher Allen had picked up, he's a YouTuber. He had picked up a runner for their kitchen. It was more vintagey. I think it was older. I, I can't remember where he got it, but it was really pretty. It, it was like, had red, like reds in it and stuff like that. And when he first put it down, I really was not a fan personally, but the more and more I saw it in his videos, the more and more I really liked the vibe of it. I thought it was just beyond beautiful. It just really grew on me. So anyway, in my brain, I've been having like a vision. Anyway, as I was in Target yesterday, I saw this, this rug in this runner. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I just don't know if it will go in my house, but I just, something about it is just so cozy and warm. So I bought just the rug and I brought it home, put it near the kitchen sink. And Mark's like, yeah, I really like that a lot. He goes, I mean, there's really those cut. We don't have any red, you know, as far as rugs in our house, but we have faux wood floors. So, you know, it, it wouldn't really matter anyway. I ran to our target here and I decided to go get the runner. So we're going to see what it looks like, but I think I'm going to like it. There's something about the warmth of it that I really want in it for that we are in the cozy season, as you know, of the autumn season and then into summer, I mean, summer, gosh, <laughs> into winter. I think I'm going to really like it. So we'll see. We will see. So while I was in there too, we've got five of the grandbabies this weekend and we got all, um, we got Giada, Capri, Jemmy, and Nini, little Nina, and CJ. And um, we have all of them for just one night, CJ for two, because Kate's in a wedding. Um, so anyway, I was buying some little snacks and treats and things for the kids. And uh, so I grabbed a few things while I was in Target. Now I'm going to head to TJ Maxx. The girl that colors my hair had the cutest little hoop earrings on. They're like little hoops like these here. And um, if you can see like these ones here. 
and they were just so pretty and she was carrying I got them at home goods so anyway she was just in there and she says oh my gosh they still have some left I'm gonna put them by the purses because like where the jewelry is so I'm like okay so I'm gonna go in there real quick and see if I can find them you got like I think four of them for like $13 so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna make some yummy autumn soup in a delicious festive fall dessert it's gonna be healthy too by the way I'm listening I did buy the book I shared it with you uh the pumpkin spice cafe well i decided i have so many audibles i've like i have so many like that you know are sitting in my thing that i need to use the credits so i decided to get the credit because i've been so busy to actually sit and read i've been listening to it it's really so super cute so that's what i've been listening to on my way home yesterday from pittsburgh and while i'm running errands and i got this again with you guys it's so good let me know if you tried it this is the olipop crisp apple it is so good Okay, here they are. Let me see. Aren't they cute? Okay, so I am home and I am going to get ready to make my soup. Um, so I got everything out. We're going to need uh, carrots and a potato, beef broth, or either vegetable broth. And um, my um, co uh, coconut. Oh, what is wrong with me? Okay, my butternut squash and uh, seasonings and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the carrots and the potatoes chopped up. We're gonna get those on the stove top and then once they're soft and cooked through, I'm gonna add the butternut squash that I already made and roasted to it and then all the other ingredients. And then we're gonna make a sweet treat. But I did wanna share with you the one thing that I picked up from Target was a cardigan. I love cardigans in the autumn and the winter season. So let me show you. There it is right here. So it came in cream, beige, gray, and maybe like a, a burgundy color, which I may have, I don't know, whatever. I love cream, you can't go wrong with it. So anyway, I love these, super soft and cozy. Oh my goodness, so I wanted to share that with you. I'll link it for you below. All right, I'm gonna get chopping on the carrots and the potatoes.
friends. Let's try her out. It smells super good. Oh my goodness. This is fantastic. Mm. This is so delicious. It is so warm and cozy, friends. You've got to try this. If you do, let me know in the comment section. An update from my last video. Yes, we've kept this beautiful tablecloth on. It really just makes the house look so warm and cozy. And I forgot to show you guys earlier my rugs. Okay, so, okay, so this is the one that I bought that I put near the sink. And then I did go get the runner today. And I don't know what it is, you guys. I just love the cozy factor of it. Here, let me give you a full view. Okay. I don't know, something about it, it just really warms up this area so nicely. Now, if you don't like it, just go along with me because it really does look cozy. So let me see, so let me go over here. Okay, anyway, I just like how it looks. I really, really do. Something about the red, did I ever think I'd like that before? No, but I do, I really, really do now. And I just love the way it just warms up this entire area. All right, this is the last of the season. Look at how pretty everything is. There's Aunt Missy. <laughs> Well, good morning friends happy saturday my house is a disaster zone because we've got our little cj here and then the four other girls morgan and tony's we got giada capri Gemma, and nini coming tonight so papa and nona are going to be watching five grandbabies tonight we are so excited you want to say hi come here, come here. say hi hi <laughs> It, he is my little sweetie patootie. Oh, he wants to play with Archie. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> so we're having fun. Mark and I are going to take CJ to the pumpkin patch. Caitlin is in a wedding today, and then Morgan and Tony are going to a different wedding tonight. So that's why we're going to be watching all the kids. So we're excited. We're going to have a little sleepover, watch movies tonight. And uh, but before the other girls, the girls get here, um, we're going to take a uh, CJ to we're thinking maybe the corn maze where I normally go for the harvest party, but I've never went with a little one, so um, we're going to do that. I think it'll be so super fun. So I'm excited for a fun day. It is the perfect autumn day today. This morning I went to Fodor's because they had their last of the season, their flower coop, and I got some beautiful flowers and this pumpkin shaped bread and this little pumpkin with some dry florals in it, I'll show you. And they were giving away free scones, which I did have one little bite and it was really delicious. Oh geez, he's getting in the dog food. I better get going. <laughs>
All right, you guys, but I found it Aldi. I already had two, the flavors of fall. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I bought three of these. And this is the beautiful pumpkin that I got from Faux Doors with the dried florals. Isn't that so pretty? And of course, my beautiful fresh flowers and my pumpkin shaped bread. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to even have just a little bite of this a little bit later when the rest of the grandbabies get here. But for now, I'm enjoying another cup of delicious fall flavor coffee. Sunday. I am rather exhausted. All the grandbabies went back home. We had five of them. We had four of the girls and little CJ. Um, so everyone's home and uh, we just had a great time. I'm so tired. I am like exhausted. So I'm going to hurry up and try to get this vlog ended. But a few things I wanted to share with you guys. Um, remember when I was talking to you about the wild deodorant and what I love about it, it's aluminum salt free. It's no parabens, no sulfates. And it's what happens is they send it to you like this, a refill, and this is all cardboard. And you put it down and you have your can, so it's refillable, which I love. So anyway, they ended up sending me a code for you guys and you get 20% off your order. It's Enhanced 20. I'll put it on the screen and I'll link it in the, in the description box. But anyway, I got my new one here. And the new scent I have for the fall is called Autumn Leaves. It's deodorant, but I'm gonna tell you, it smells so good. You don't, you know, you're not gonna smell overpowering or anything like that. And I did get a couple other scents, fresh cotton and sea salt and a thunderstorm. So I was oh, so excited to use all these. But also, I am like I think I did share too, is I literally I love their shower gel. And again, you pick out your aluminum container and um, this is your, um, your, your refill, your refill. So all you do is take off the lid here and then put it inside here, put the lid on, and then this will go inside. And so that is the refill. And, uh, what I love about this one, well, first of all, they have the best sense. I'm serious. Like the best sense. This one here is the Amber and Ode. This is the second one I've bought of Amber and Ode because I love it that much. It smells so good. Um, so anyway, 20% off. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that. I love it. I do, You do not get stinky with it whatsoever. And what I love most, again, as I told you guys before, is my mom had breast cancer twice. I do not like to use any of those other deodorants because you just they're just toxic. And this is clean, and I love it. Um, okay, so yes for a while. Love, love, love. Um, another thing I wanted to share with you is we get older, you know, our little turkey necky thing here, the little wrinkling. So this is still my first one of the Go Pure Tighten the Lift Neck Cream. And all the results that I hear, and I should have taken a before picture. I'm just so bad at remembering to do that. Anyway, they say by the time you finish your first into the second, you really see a drastic change. And I'm already seeing a change. And I have, let me see. Well, probably about a quarter left of this first jar. Um, but I also have a discount code for you guys for this too. Hey, listen, I'm I'm giving you guys just discounts on the stuff because I just, I want you to, to enjoy what I'm loving. And I know you guys love when I share these things with you. So I wanted to share the Go Pure with you to get rid of all this and all that wrinkly, you put it on your decollete. It's, I like it. I'm seeing results again, not even finishing the first jar. And then one last thing I want to share with you Oh my gosh, that Mr. Sun is coming in. Can I hide over here? Okay, perfume. You know, I love perfume for the fall. I ordered this uh, Forever Mood, I Am Her, and um, Lavishly Jackie is a very popular, popular, um, she's on Instagram and YouTube. She's absolutely beautiful, I adore her. And uh, I wanted to try one of her new fragrances because she started off with candles. If, okay, first of all, this smells phenomenal, but it's not so super strong where you're like, oh my goodness. So if you're one of those people that love an amazing, gorgeous scent, but you don't want it to be overpowering, you're going to love this. And I got to tell you the notes real quick because, I mean, this, as soon as I read the notes, I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is so Karen. Um, okay, so this is the notes here. Well, the scent type is warm and sweet garment, and the key notes are red velvet, pyrene ode. I mean, I'm literally hiding from the sun here. 
You guys, it smells so fantastic. I absolutely love the scent. And when I ordered it, it came also with the travel one, which was great. So, okay. The sun just is not going to let me finish this. So please make sure that you, if you have not already subscribed to my newsletter, it comes out every Friday. You're subscribed to my channel because I got the harvest party coming up next week. I cannot wait to bring you guys along and uh, some more fall festive stuff. And then we're going to start right on into the holiday season too. And oh my gosh, I'm already, I just, you guys have no idea. It's going to be so pretty when I start decorating for Christmas. I cannot wait. And I know some of you are saying, oh my gosh, Karen. It's only October. I get that. But, um, you know, for me, I got to be a little bit of a head. That's how it is when you do what I do. This is like sort of my job. So, um, and I love it. I can't even call it a job. I love it so much. Okay. So before we end this video, let's see, what are we going to use uh, as an emoji? And um, let's see, I thought of something earlier today. Oh, what about bread? Because uh, that delicious bread that I got at Fodor's yesterday was fantastic. It's sourdough. It was so good. So why don't we do a bread? That will be the word in the emoji to put in the comment section this time. All right, friends, love you, love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.